We have the Sony Xperia Z1 with its 20.7 megapixel camera, which is the largest to date on an Android phone. And we have the Samsung Galaxy S4, one of the best selling phones Samsung has ever made. How do they compare? Let's check it out in this comparison right now. Waterproof, dustproof, and the largest camera sensor on an Android phone. Aside from powerhouse specs, that's what the Sony 2013 flagship is, the Xperia Z1. It's a natural evolution for the Xperia Z earlier this year, and it has a lot of bragging rights, at least on paper, to make it one of the most desirable phones out there running Android. The Galaxy S4 needs no introduction. It is among the best-selling phones out there at the moment, despite the fact that it's rather old in tech years, we've seen it age pretty well in our latest episode of After the Buzz. The Galaxy S4 is still a phone we'd recommend to anyone. Simply put, it's Samsung's best phone yet. Yes, we know about the Note 3, but at the time of this recording, the Note 3 is not available yet. So it's just fair that we kick off our Xperia Z comparison series with the Galaxy S4 face-off, and we're looking at hardware, software and user experience, as well as the camera. Build materials and quality is something where these two phones couldn't be any more different. While the Sony Xperia Z1 is built completely out of aluminum and glass, the Samsung Galaxy S4 continues the company's tradition in terms of design as well as hyperglaze plastic, which some of you love, others loathe. We are just tired of it. Glass versus plastic is not the only differentiator when it comes to the hardware of the two. The Xperia Z1 is also waterproof and dustproof, something which the Galaxy S4 is not, but the Galaxy S4 Active is. Still, the Z1 is better than even the S4 Active with its IP57 and IP58 ratings, which allow submersion beyond 1.5 meters. An aluminum and glass construction has its downsides, though. We're pretty sure the Z1 wouldn't survive a healthy drop, something which won't destroy the S4. Also, the Sony phone is 40 grams heavier than the Samsung at 170 grams. It is also significantly larger, despite the same screen size, at 144mm versus 136.6. Another category in which the Xperia Z1 wins, though we're sure Sony wouldn't want to brag about this, is the bezels. As you can see, they're quite thick, especially on the top and the bottom. If you look under the hood, these two have rather similar specs. The Xperia Z1 is powered by a 2.2GHz quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor. The Galaxy S4 already has a variant powered by the same CPU, but additional flavors are available at 1.9GHz in the case of the Snapdragon 600 and the Exynos 5 Octa flavored dual quad core, which is this unit we are using right here. RAM is a tie at 2GB on both devices, but the internal storage battle goes to Samsung for having 16, 32 and 64GB options, all expandable via microSD in contrast to the Xperia Z1 16GB with expansion options. Both screens are 5-inch panels at Full HD 1920x1080 resolution and a PPI rating of 441. The difference is still fundamental when comparing screen technology. Super AMOLED on the S4 versus TFT on the Z1. Sadly, deep blacks and vibrant colors are not the only difference between the screens on these two. The S4 has an exceptional side viewing angle, something which is severely lacking on the Z1. No, it's not a feature. Furthermore, if you don't look at the Z1 screen that's center, you will start seeing colors wash off. And they're not really that vibrant to start with. The S4 is the clear winner here, though the Z1 offers somewhat better outdoor visibility. The 20.7 megapixel stabilized camera on the Z1 trumps the 13 megapixel shooter on the S4, at least on paper, and at least when comparing raw numbers. We'll see how they actually compare later in this video. The 3000 mAh battery on the Z1 performs slightly better than the 2600 mAh unit on the S4, Samsung's unit being accessible while Sony needed to keep things tied up for its water and dustproofing construction. Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean operates on both of these devices and both platforms have their custom user interfaces on top of them. We'd say the playground is level, but still, there are many differences. Talking about these, as we are now looking at software and user experience, we can tell you this much. Neither of the two is inferior, which is just normal. We have thankfully reached a moment in time when both hardware, high-end devices today are real powerhouses, and software deliver fluid, snappy performance. There's no real need to compare app launch time side by side, but we did it anyways and found out that, while both are extremely snappy, they go back and forth. Sometimes the Z1, sometimes the S4 is faster a hair faster, which is negligible anyways. There's a fundamental difference though between these two phones. 
while Samsung packed all the features you'll ever want to use, and some more, which you'll probably never use, in the Galaxy S4, like Air View, Air Gesture, Smart Stay, Smart Scroll, Smart Pause, S Health, and so on, the Xperia Z1 has none of those. So, if you're a fan of all the features on the S4, you've probably made your decision by now. The Xperia Z1 has small apps functionality though, meaning there are a couple of applications and widgets which you can float on top of others. Browser, calculator, calendar, notes, recorder, and a few others. That aside, it's your typical Android phone without the bells and whistles. For an in-depth look at the Galaxy S4 features, make sure to check out our dedicated tour of everything present on the device. Sony, on the other hand, has loaded the Z1, much like Samsung did with TouchWiz, with its own custom UI. Within that, you can choose a theme among the existing eight, which will not only change the wallpapers, but it will also affect the overall accent of the phone. If your household has several Sony products, it will be very easy for you to mirror the screen of the Z1. The keyboard is also something you can customize to your own liking, including the layout as well as the theme. The album application has Picasa, Flickr, Facebook and Sony Play Memories integration, while the Walkman application will handle all your streaming and local music playback needs. If you want to tweak your photos, there's an Autodesk application pre-installed called Pixelar Express, which you can use to fancify or awesomeize your stills. And, talking about stills, let's take a look at camera performance. We'll play the samples for you in the background, while we tell you that choosing between the two is tricky. They both have their strong and weak points. They're not bad shooters, we need to tell you that straight from the beginning. The Xperia Z1 has better low-light sensitivity, but it just so happens that it also introduces much more noise and images than the S4. Not all the time, just at times when the lighting is not perfect. And that's what we're interested in. One thing to note here before we proceed. We noticed on our Z1 that the far right of every image tends to be washed out. This might be specific to our particular review unit, or it might be a model-specific issue. Details tend to wash out in the far right quarter of the image under certain scenarios which we'll try to reproduce in time for our full review. That being said, colors are different in the output images. The Z1 generates cooler tones, the S4 is warmer. Needless to say, they're both wrong, with reality probably being an average of the two. In bright, sunny outdoors, they both deliver good results, with the S4 producing slightly sharper images. Take away from the light, and the Z1 will start to trump the S4 at the expense of detail. Its low-light images look like old paintings, with any fine detail and sharpness missing. Go indoors and kill the flash, and you'll have to live with a lot of noise, sometimes even with the flash on. In terms of video, the Z1 is focusing faster than the S4. Of course, the color tones are different, like in the case of pictures, and the Z1's stabilized camera really helps while shooting video. However, the output of the S4 is somewhat sharper. But let's play the two samples so you can judge for yourself. Hey everyone, this is Tony from Pocket Now, and we are here in Orada City, in our usual park, trying to capture the differences between the camera capabilities of the Sony Xperia Z1, and we're comparing it today with the Samsung Galaxy S4. It is a bright, sunny day. I'm really curious to see how these two fare against each other because on the screen of these devices there is a huge difference and now we're going to go against the sun just to see how they cope with uh, everything let's move in for a close-up on the leaves here autofocus is on we'll just stay here for a second and see how they cope and then pan around back let's move in for another close-up this flower here Stay there just for autofocus to do its thing. And then, of course, circle back. Thank you very much for watching. This was Anton from Pocket Now. Stay tuned for a lot more on the Sony Xperia Z1. Hey everyone, this is Tony from Pocket Now, and we are here in Orada City in our usual park, trying to capture the differences between the camera capabilities of the Sony Xperia Z1. And we're comparing it today with the Samsung Galaxy S4. It is a bright, sunny day. I'm really curious to see how these two fare against each other because on the screen of these devices there is a huge difference. And now we're going to go against the sun just to see how they cope with uh, everything. Let's move in for a close-up on the leaves here. Autofocus is on. We'll just stay here for a second and see how they cope. And then pan around back. Let's move in for another close-up, this flower here.
this thing there just for autofocus to do its thing and then of course circle back thank you very much for watching this was Anton from Pocket Now stay tuned for a lot more on the Sony Xperia Z1 at the end of the day we're looking at a one two week old phone compared to a six month old device even if a flagship that however does not translate into palpable differences which one of the two should you choose if you're often finding yourself in places where a water and dustproof phone is what you need the Z1 is for you. The S4 has a lot of features, sometimes more than what you'd even consider using. If that's your cup of tea, the S4 is for you. Is the Z1 better in terms of specs? Yes, on paper. No, in day-to-day -day usage. Is the camera on the Z1 better on paper? Yes. Not in your everyday scenario, unless you often shoot your subjects in close to zero lighting. That's when you'll have to go with the Z1, but settle for no details and painting-like output. Do materials matter? It's glass versus plastic, so you'll be the judge of it. We're looking at two of the top five Android devices of the moment, and any one of these will not make you regret your investment. That's gonna do it for today. This has been the Sony Xperia Z1 versus Samsung Galaxy S4 comparison. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to follow Pocket Now on all the usual social media channels, links down below. And I've been Anton Dinoid. If you want to follow me, you can do so in the links above. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time, stay safe.